All right. Oh my God. Hey Suki, are you excited to hear? Did you know that there's a tunnel under Ocean Boulevard? Cause I'm fucking excited. I'm excited. I have the absolute busiest schedule of all time, but I had to make time for this. I had to make time for this today. Oh, I need my comfort, Gengar, cause I know this shit's about to get raw. Suki, that's not for you. That's not yours. Um, I've been waiting my whole life for this album, just like every Lana Del Rey album. Um, I don't even know what to say. I saw that it got rave reviews, um, and I've loved every single single so far. And um, yeah, bruh, this is it. This is Lana Del Rey's ninth studio album. High aesthetic, um, high intensities, all these collabs. It's finally here, it's finally upon us. All right, hopefully she'll stop biting me in a second. She's just excited to hear it too. Aren't you? Aren't you? She probably is wondering again, why, why are you talking to yourself? Why aren't you talking to me? Huh? All right. Um, I've got my favorite new shirt on. It says I'll try anything once, maybe twice on the back. Um, it's true. It's true, I will. Uh, are you ready? First listen, Lana Del Rey, did you know that there's a tunnel under Ocean Boulevard? Suki, don't do this right now, please. Okay. La la la, I'm so fucking excited. Track one, baby, the Grants. We've heard it. Uh-uh. But I'll play it again. I'll do it again. Um, I have to admit to a mistake I made in the previous video. I thought she said, I'm gonna take mind of you with me, but she's actually talking about how she's gonna take her memories of you and me with her when she dies, which makes a lot more sense contextually with the rest of the track, so. doing the hard stuff I'm doing my time like because she sung a lot about generational trauma that you inherit and so I think she's saying that she's doing what she can to work through that trauma for her for future grant family members so they can live more purely which you know I respect I respect do you respect Asuki? I respect it all right beautiful peaceful lovely first song talking about her family her memories life and death herself I feel like it's a good epitome of what this album's all about. Um, okay. Did you know that there's a tunnel under Ocean Boulevard? Heard this one a million times now, but let's listen to it again. Just to get the full album effect. As many have stated, that song starts out like her other song. Push you, get on, baby, giddy up. And it fast and treat you like a holiday. We were born on a hill trip. What's that? I literally can't remember what that was called. It's okay. 
Bro, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. I've been renovating my house. I have an art gallery show opening tonight. I have this little baby girl here with me to take care of. Um, and I also have to eat food and shower and do laundry, so it's a lot. But the top priority is obviously this beautiful album, so. I can never feel someone like my body, my my soul. When's it gonna be my turn? Suki, come here. Get out of there. Fuck me to death. Love me until I love myself. Oh, I can't help but scream this shit. It's so good. When's it gonna be my turn? This is why I can't react to the albums when I've already listened to them, because you'll just see me here screaming the lyrics as loud as I can. Tell me you like me. Fuck me to death. I've been working on music with this guy, Tommy, and I was recording some vocals and sent them over to him. And he was like, your voice cracks at like one minute and 34 seconds. Can you re-record that part? And I was like, I don't know, cause Lana Del Rey sung about Harry Nelson's voice cracking at 2.05, so that's all. All right, two amazing openers that we know very well. Track three, baby. New song, sweet, three minutes, 35 seconds, explicit. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Stars in my eyes, waking up with it. Think it's in the midwest. Wish I could tell you now. It's like every change in her voice that she does, I get, I'm getting goosebumps. It's like. That's <laughs> so beautiful. Alright. If you want some basic bitch go to the Beverly Center. Um what a lie in such a peaceful, stoic, melodic song. song like maybe the one she did for Maleficent am I onto something I love it I love that melody it's amazing I'm so excited to hear it again or for the first time maybe I'm crazy <laughs> Is that what you'd call it? Like she just comes up with the most beautiful melodies. I can't even take her. I like that. That was nice. She's like, I like making out with you, bro, but like, let's get real. Let's get real. Are you gonna hurt me now? Or are you gonna hurt me later? It's funny, it reminds me a little bit of like Wise Blood, and obviously, Wise Blood pulled a lot of her inspo from Lana, so it's like it's pure Lana, it's it's great. I like that simple track. 
um, just the piano really and her voice short like the grants had the chorus line intro did you know that there's a tunnel under ocean boulevard is a little bit more complex start to finish a and w obviously has that big shift towards the end this was the first song that was like short and sweet oh my god all right a and w banger let's go I was nine. I haven't seen my mother in a long, long time. Does she shake my body? Do you really think I give a damn what I do with you? Hearing them talking in the other part of my mind. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. We fuck on the hotel floor. Just the experience of being an American whore. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. I love this song. I'm a princess. I'm divisive. Pass me while I'm on my list. Maybe I'm just kind of. It's not about having someone to love me anymore. Okay. I love just the experience of being an American whore. Jimmy only love me when you wanna get high. Jimmy only love me when you wanna get high. Jimmy only love me when you wanna get in my car. I told her you're fucking up big time. I already lost my mind. I told her you're fucking up big time. Alright, we love that song. We love that song. It's next level. Amazing. Iconic, the fastest seven minute song I've ever heard in my life. Very so cute. All right, Judah Smith interlude, track five, 16 tracks. Oh my lord. All right. <laughs> preachy I'm just kidding that's obviously the point so far he's talking about existing in love not lust help me love what I got help me love what's in front of me all right help me love I mean, I like this message. It's like existing in the moment, loving what's around you, not being stuck in your head, desiring for things to be different, which I feel like every fucking human being, including myself, needs to focus on. All right, Suki, so get, get a room, girl. Get a room. Following your stars, now you got tools in this set. I mean, this is kind of trippy. I don't think I'm gonna be like jamming out to this song in my car, but I think when I'm like vibing out to the vinyl, it'll be, it'll be the vibe. It'll fit in with the vibe, you know? Man, for me, oh, don't get me started on I like how you hear her laughing, like she just is at church recording this on her phone, which is probably exactly what she did. All right, that was a vibe. I'm excited for Candy Necklace because there's a music video coming for it. Um, so I'm s stoked to hear it. John Batiste. TBH, I haven't listened to much of his music, so let's see. Let's see the vibes. You know, people out there complain that she has too many piano ballads, but I can't get enough. The more the merrier. Keep them coming. Keep them coming, baby. It's 
like the melodies she's going for on this record are almost slightly more unexpected. I'm gonna think if I can elaborate on that thought. I try so That's the little clip that we all heard on Twitter. Nice. When she's saying candy necklace, is it what I'm thinking it is? Can you confirm? Sitting on the sofa, feeling super suicidal. Nice. I like that line. The song is giving like really depressing, rainy day, driving in my car, crying. And this song is playing, is what it sounds like for me. sounding like I'm picturing this playing in a movie that's like a western and someone's tripping out on some like ayahuasca that they accidentally ate and it's really hot out and they're drenched in sweat and everything around them is like pulsing and they don't know where they are who they are they're in some like old school western town just like and this song's playing it's now it's giving me that Imagine you get a call from Lana Del Rey and she's like, look, I really want you on my album and all I need you to do is say, sing candy necklaces 18 times. That's it. I'd be like, okay. All right, track seven, John Batiste interlude. She's fucking nailing down atmosphere on this album. It's very atmospheric. <clears throat> it's a whole a whole vibe, I'd say, more than um, tch, 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 Blue Bannisters, which felt to me more like almost a mixtape collection of wonderful songs, but not as like pure. <laughs> previous albums she's really just trying to say something with this one like I feel like there's so much intention behind it not that there wasn't in her last albums but this one just feels so much more like a piece of art to me <laughs> Like, I almost feel like Tulsa Jesus Freak would fit in <clears throat> on this album. This song, this interlude reminded me of it for some reason. Alright, I mean, I might let that song play while I'm driving around. It'll be great on the vinyl, for sure. Alright, Kintsugi. 6 minutes, 19 seconds. I think Kintsugi, is that the, like, broken pottery gold fill thing? This is so fine. Damn, son. I can't say I'd run when things get hard. It's just that I don't trust myself with my heart. I love that. But I've had to let it break a little more. They say that's what it's for. Uh, that's a sweet metaphor for heartbreak. It's like you you have to break your heart because the cracks let the light in. <laughs> and then there's Donahue. Jack Donahue? 
Whoa. Okay, that verse though. Everyone was there standing and laughing. I'm on the side with my tears streaming down. There's something about the clutch of the wrist. He thought mine was his to carve into his mouth. I don't get that. Does anyone understand that? And can you please let me know? I can't stop crying because all the ways when you see someone dying, you see all your days flash in front of you. You think about who would be with you and then there's Donahue. Are they still together? I thought they broke up. The song's kind of muffled, like it's quieter than the rest of them. Um, it's like she's singing it through a thick piece of velvet or something. Oh, that part hit. I'm the next Lana Del Rey. I'm coming for you, girl. Just kidding. No one does it like her. All right. But there's nothing to do except know that this is. It's like a lot of the melodies in this album, they're not really earworms. You know, they're, it's not super poppy. It's like very, like I said, she's just trying to express a message, a feeling. I'd say the poppiest one to me so far is A and W. All right, Kintsugi. Let's go, Kintsugi. I like A and W the most, even though I've heard it a lot. But I, so far, that's my top one. And sweet, I like. All right, fingertips. When I look back, tracing fingertips of a plastic bag. Will I die, or will I get to that ten-year mark? Will I have one of mine? Can I handle it, even if I do? It's not will I have a baby of my own? Can I handle it? Right. Suki, can I handle it? I handle it. This song especially feels like she just let her pen go wild on a whole sheet of paper and sung what she wrote. Like she didn't even think about it. Or she just sung like freestyle singing. Feels very, very free. Like she said, very wordy. Very expressive. Sat in the shower, gave myself two seconds to cry. Sat in the shower, gave myself two seconds to cry. It's a shame that we die. Jesus Christ. Beautiful song. Holy shit. I love that a lot. Um. I didn't get all the lyrics because it wasn't updated and I was too lazy to Google it. But to me, that song was about her dealing with her own expectations for life, other people's expectations for her, just the weight of existence, the heaviness of the duties that we have and the things we need to do the masks we put on for other people. Like there was just so much in that going on in that song. Um, beautiful, beautiful. I loved it. I loved how train of thought it felt too. Like that was amazing. Great song, fingertips, all right. Track 10, Paris, Texas. Paris, Texas featuring Simmel. This is already sounding like um, an Aphex Twin ambient track. I love it, I love it, I love it, all right. Like Aphex Twin and Radiohead, that's what I'm picking up so far from this song. 
soundtrack for some reason. These are just my thoughts, all right. Okay. I like that song. I, who's Simmel? I don't know their music. These shorts are a little short. I <clears throat> don't want anything popping out, if you know what I mean. Sad. Sad album. Sad song. Very, like I said, Aphex twin. Radiohead. Depressing. Instrumental vibes. I love, I like that. Alright, grandfather, please stand on the shoulders of my father while he's deep sea fishing. That's one of my, like, personal totems. Like, when I hear or see an owl, it feels very special to me. Regrettably, you're so a white woman. The instrumentals on all these tracks are very complex. Like there's a lot of nuance to them, which I like. Also like how she's singing about good intentions like believe me bro I have good intentions like listen to my music listen to the melodies listen to my songs even if I've fucked up even if I've made some mistakes like my intentions are pure because it's so easy to just become what people think that you are even I don't, I don't know I'm also gonna say I feel like she learned from her feature on Lana's album, meaning this album has had a lot of features, but it's basically Lana, like you can barely hear the other people so far. Alright, let the light in, Father John Misty. I love Father John Misty, so I'm excited to hear this track. <laughs> So love a guitar behind her voice and his voice. Pick you up at all quarter three. As you if you want some mm, I'm liking this. It's got some country vibe to it. In a good way. This is the poppiest song so far to me. 
And I say poppy like this song will be stuck in my head. I'm regretting wearing this shirt for this video. It's like a little tight and a little small, but I thought it'd be cute. Um, all right, now we're vibing. <laughs> I don't even need to hear a song to sing along to it. I just need to read the lyrics. Mm. All right, I think that's my favorite song so far. It's so good, so good. All right, Margaret featuring the bleachers, Jack Antonoff. This one I feel like will be fun. Oh shit, this is about Margaret. Bali, who's from the same place I live, which is cool. Simple song, gonna write it for a friend. A shirt is inside out. Baby, if your love is in trouble. Words on my friends. Ooh, Jack Antonoff, heavy feature. So far, this song's fucking adorable. I love it. I gotta say, all the of all the ladies Jack Antonoff has worked with, all the albums he's done, I think this is the first person to really write a song about him, for him, and feature him on the song. Mad respect, LDR. Baby, if your love is in trouble. Cause when you know, you know. The change of the melody there, even Suki has goosebumps. Don't you, puppies? Don't you? Yes, you do. The party is December 18. Let's waltz this out. She better sing this at his wedding. It'd be so cute. song cute song oh okay so far the second half of the album's hitting hitting me more hitting me harder all right fishtail baby track 14 So funny, I wish I could skinny dip inside your mind. You can talk to me, lately, I can see. I love you, I love that melody there. Lately, I've been thinking about how things used to be. Swinging in a nightgown underneath the old oak tree. You said her. with that auto-tune and the trap beats. I knew it was coming back. Maybe I'll 
I'll take my glasses off so I'll stop painting red flags green. Right? Same, 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 same. <laughs> Echoes of Taylor Swift Midnight Rain vocal effects in here. Just saying. To say. I'm not that smart, but I've got things to say, alright? Let me speak. Okay, I've been excited for this one. Peppers featuring Tommy Genesis, who I love. Who I love? Yes, I do. I love her. Alright. Yes, that's all, that's all. dip in my mind again because it's a good line she was like I'm gonna throw that in there twice <laughs> it's interesting it almost feels a little random like the injection of Tommy Genesis but I feel like it'll grow on me he has my boyfriend tested positive for COVID it don't matter we've been kissing so whatever he has I have mmm that's hilarious. I feel like that's in a panic at the disco song. <laughs> Those sirens were outside my apartment, but it fits. It fits. God damn, I'm just looking at the more by Lana Del Rey underneath. What an iconic run of albums. Like, Born to Die, Paradise, Ultra Violence, Honeymoon, Lust for Life, Chemtrails, Blue Bannisters. Or no, throw in Norman fucking Rockwell. <laughs> Toss in Did You Know There's a Tunnel in Ocean Boulevard. Like, are you kidding? They're all so iconic. All right, that was good. That was fun. Not as catchy as, um, let the light in. That one's still my favorite. I love that song. All right, Taco Truck XBB Venice Bitch. I read somewhere that she was walking by a taco truck listening to Venice Bitch and got inspired for this song. So, uh uh, you're not supposed to chew on that, Suki. No. Let's go. Last song. Last song on this glorious album. All right. <laughs> I love that instrumental where it cut out and then hit back with the bass. That's always nice. Uh, it's reminding me of like Sublime a little bit, this one. I was wondering when Venice Bitch was gonna make an appearance. Get high, drop acid, never die, is that what she just said? She knew she needed to end this album on a banger by including one of her greatest tracks of all time, Venice Bitch.
Oh my god, I loved it. Great album. Heavy, beautiful, lush, intense, sad, hopeful, dynamic. Like, I loved it. Concise at the same time. Um, favorite tracks for me are probably uh, Let the Light In, Margaret, Fingertips, A and W. Yeah, um, I'm excited to keep listening. I might have to do like a follow up, like a month later. What I think. Um, what did you guys think? What are your standout tracks? Did I miss anything? Did I fuck anything up? Um, yeah, and I love that she's out there fucking promoting the shit out of this album. She's touring at festivals. I really hope I get to see her again. Um, yeah, great. This is going to be a fucking amazing summer. Right, Suki? We're going to listen to this album all day long, every day. I've got my vinyls hopefully arriving soon. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Subscribe. Let's get to a thousand. Right? Let's get to a thousand. Peace out.